Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we heard yesterday in the debate, uh, Biden, Joe Biden, he is using the word inshallah. And I noticed that some people are really upset for Biden is using it, which is stupid of him, by the way. Uh, and that will make him lose more vote by using that word. Because people will start wondering, I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Why is he using such a word? Uh, for a false god, and he is supposedly, uh, you know, not a Muslim, right? Uh, but for me, I see it in a different way, and I'll explain to you. You see, you, if you look at the context of the debate, Joe Biden was asking Trump, when you are going to show us your tax? Trump, obviously, he don't want to show the tax for now for a reason. Maybe uh, it's a good reason for him uh, not to show. It's a good reason for Biden to ask for it. However, when Trump, obviously, hesitating to show and to show the tax that the tax he, he he paid which may be because it's so small and trump he uh, uh, keep avoiding answering the question which is obvious uh, biden said to him inshallah you will reveal which means it will never happen which means that you are you are false the same as the false god allah your promise is false in the Middle East, we use that. and look like he is learning this from a Middle Eastern person close to him. Somehow, somebody is teaching him that this is a joke we in the Middle East, we do, making fun of those who they are religious from the Islamic faith. For they never keep a promise, and always they avoid doing the promise by saying, Inshallah. There's a guy, you know, I, I told you before about a guy who took a picture of him next to, to a hole in the street, uh, and then when he is 36, he, he took it first time when he was six years old. And 30, 36 years after, still the same hole is there. Why? Because inshallah, we will fix it. When the electricity will be fixed, inshallah, tomorrow. But tomorrow never come. Every tomorrow is inshallah. So here, uh, uh, Biden actually is making fun of Islam. For you are, you are uh, putting your promise on a false God. So your promise is false, the same as you are. So Biden saying to Trump, you are a false person, the same as Allah. Say, inshallah, you will provide your taxes, which means something will never happen. So I find here Biden is trying to insult Islam and Muslims, and, uh, and this is how it is. Otherwise, you know, when you, you, you are being sarcastic, right? Why you are saying, inshallah, he used that word in purpose for this is what they do in the Middle East. They keep saying the word, they never do the act. And he is saying to him, inshallah, which means your promise to release your tax is the same as Allah, the false God. Leave your comment and tell me what do you think about this. And as you see, I'm not, uh, uh, I mean, I'm just using the tablet to use to, to record for you. And I hope as soon we will be back and we will be able to do life on air again. And uh, uh, this debate was very funny and stupid at the same time. You don't see something professional like two kids in the stage. I mean, even the questions are funny and stupid. Uh, they ask him about the global warming. And each time we have a president, they ask him about the global warming. As they can really fix weather, you know. And uh, they want to convince you uh, that there are people who support global warming uh, agenda which mean to lower the carbon and etc but all of them both of them trump and biden and hillary and sander all of them they, dr they drive fancy cars and they have like 20 cars when they go in the street with them and they will not take an airplane unless it's a private airplane but they you know they are they are for a green you know they want to save the world you know, but the, the the villa of Nancy Pelosi need God knows how much electricity, a huge villa, uh, uh, the, the same as the house of Obama. You know, he have a house of a king. Uh, but all of them, they care, you know, they care to save the world from a global warming, you know. <laughs> it's a joke, you know. This is, the, the, the debate in America is not really a debate. It's like a comedy. That's why yesterday I was, I, was, uh, I, I wanted to watch it, to watch a comedy. Not to watch a debate. There's no debate in the debate. You know, the one who's asking the question is stupid. The ones who are answering the questions are not answering. And we we are the one 
who is going to be end with people who they are not fit to be leaders in this country. However, at the end of the day, I will vote for Trump, no matter what, because Trump, he might be, uh, you know, like the saint. We're not waiting for voting for a saint for sure. But the evil Trump is one million times better than the angel Democrat. For they are fake and fraud and they never do something right. They speak that they are for freedom, but they are anti-freedom. They speak that they support black people, but when they are in office, they never do anything good for black people. They say that they are anti-racism, but nobody is racist as they are. Go and watch the history of the Democratic Party. You will see they are the one who was fighting, making war against the, the, the Republican to keep slavery and to keep the black people slave forever. The truth is, Republican Party is the one who fought and gave the black people equal right to be citizen in this country, and for sure they deserve that. Uh, but Democrat is the one who fought against it all the time. And Democrat is a party who ride a wave. So now we have Antifa. So we are with Antifa. Whoever come, they are with him. Doesn't matter. Just vote for us. You know, you are an Ill illegal immigrant. We will give you paper. Just vote for us. <laughs> you are an Arab. We love the Arab. Vote for us. <laughs> but in reality, the story is different. So. They are fake. They are hypocrite. You know, they talk about tax, uh, uh, like you know, uh, 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 Trump. He did not pay much tax. Well, you, you, the, the one who made the tax law is a stupid Biden. And you told him, if you make investment here, investment there, investment there, those you can take them from your tax at the end. So even if he if he pay no dollar, Netflix, a huge company in USA, paid zero. <laughs> You know, income tax. <laughs> zero. You know, zero? Zero. Why? Because you are the one who told them, if you make investment here, if you spend here, all of those things, you can take them out of your tax so you pay nothing. And then you are asking him why you don't pay tax. He, he's doing it, the legal thing. He's doing the legal law. So the whole argument is stupid. Trump, he is not a good debater. He does not know how to debate, really. Uh, I wish the one who debate is his assistant, the, the, the Speaker of the White House. Her name, I think, is Kylie. This is a blonde lady. She's so smart. She's so firm. And if she was on the stage, she would whip the nose of uh, Biden in the floor with numbers, with clear answers. But you will see Trump, he keep repeating himself, uh, the economy, the economy. I mean, come on, just say something different. And Biden is, is a, a God knows for how long they train him for the same. And I'm sure, by the way. The questions they said, we did not give it to this and to that. I believe that this is always garbage. And actually, I noticed that Fox News is taking side with Biden, at least this host, his name is Chris, way against Trump. This is my opinion, and this is what I see. However, the statement of Inshallah, I found that Biden is making ins insult to Islam, and he is stating clearly that Islam is a cult, Allah is a false god, and Trump, you are a false person. Your promise of pr providing your tax is the same as a Muslim saying, inshallah, which means would never happen. Leave your com comment. And uh, as you see, I'm using my tablet because I'm away from home. And until we go back, we will post life again. Thank you very much.